Joining us today here on Primetime Local News is Glennis Reeves, the project coordinator for Project Gazelle. Glennis, I just want to start off by just you giving us a little bit of a summary of what Project Gazelle is. So Project Gazelle is a project that is funded through the Women's Entrepreneurship Strategy Ecosystem Fund. It was a fund that the federal government announced probably about 18 months to two years ago. And so there were two pieces to that fund. One was that women entrepreneurs could actually apply for grants to expand their businesses, especially if they were looking at global markets. And the other piece, the ecosystem fund was for organizations that support entrepreneurs to apply for funding to expand their programming to help women entrepreneurs. So Lloydminster Community Futures put in a grant application and was successful with that. But it's not just this area. Our geographical area actually covers um, parts of North West Saskatchewan and all of Northern Alberta. So we actually serve 15 different community futures regions with Lloydminster's community futures being the lead for it, as well as we have other economic development organizations um, such as uh, incubators. Uh, we have some economic development organizations through some of the towns that we um, serve. And as well, we have um, other partners such as Chamber of Commerces um, that work with us through Project Gazelle. I know the project has just started over a year ago, but what's been the response like from business women in the community to use the tools that Project Gazelle has to offer? So there were three things that we said we would do when we um, put in our grant application. One is we said that we would either expand or build new co-working spaces that have a real focus on um, services for women entrepreneurs. Um, in our first year, we our expansion was actually in Lloydminster with um, Startup Lloydminster, and our new incubator was actually in Hinton. Um, we also said that we would um, introduce entrepreneurship to a number of women. Um, our project actually goes to 2023, and so by that time, we hope to have introduced entrepreneurship to 4,000 women. In our first year, we've introduced entrepreneurship to 1,400 women, and of those, we're hoping approximately 1,500 will actually start down the entrepreneurship path, which means they'll either do some type of training with us, they'll either do some of our um, enhanced coaching, and right now we have about 225 women who actually are Project Gazelle clients with us across that geographical area. With COVID-19, it was tough on many businesses, of course, across the country. Was there anything that Project Gazelle did to kind of help the women that they do help in terms of some sort of aid by any chance that they used to help them get through these tough times? So for us with Project Gazelle, we don't actually give out funding, but what we do is provide supports. And one of the things that's great about our project is we have the flexibility and freedom to actually pivot. So when um, there's a couple of things. So first off, because we serve such a large geographical area, we were set up before COVID to do everything virtually. So for example, if we have a Project Gazelle um, workshop going on in um, Jasper, we want to make sure that everyone within our Project Gazelle area can um, access it. So we were already set up to do things virtually, which is very good when COVID hit. But what we did do is we pivoted with some of our services. So not just for new entrepreneurs, but for existing businesses as well. Included in some of our services are we can provide some uh, mental wellness and mental health supports. We have a um, health and wellness coach who can actually work one on one with women entrepreneurs to help them with life balance, some of the things they're dealing with that. We also introduced a tool called the the Lean Canvas. And the Lean Canvas can really get businesses to take a look at how they have to pivot quickly um, in our changing times. So we have a Lean um, Canvas coach who is available for businesses to work with. Um, we also um, heard from a lot of our women entrepreneurs that there are lots of new things coming out in regards to human resources and I mean how what they need to do for staff what they need to do for customers. So one of the things we did is we introduced a, a professional HR consultant who once again can provide consulting services to our um, majority female owned businesses to help them make sure they've got all the policies and procedures in place. And the fourth thing we're working on is a online marketplace that's specifically for gazelle clients so there'll be other ways for them to market their businesses than the traditional ways that they were doing 
And of course, that, as I said, that's open to our new entrepreneurs that are part of the program. And it's also open to any business that's majority women owned. So it, as long as 50% of the businesses are women owned, they can access our Gazelle services. So those are some of the things we introduced very quickly um, when COVID hit to try to help our women entrepreneurs in the area that we serve. And lastly, if any business women are watching and they want to maybe seek some guidance through Project Gazelle, how can they do so? All they need to do is they can call the Community Futures Office in Lloyd Minster. We also have a website that they can go to and they can contact us through the website. Um, and we are, or through any of our incubators, so through Startup Lloyd Minster, which is a gazelle incubator. Because in addition to those COVID services, we also provide some enhanced types of coaching. Uh, we use a, a lot of really unique um, business planning tools. Um, we do a variety of different types of workshops. We're hosting a retreat. Um, in our Hinton, our Yellowhead West Community Futures in October for women to take a look at how to build success on their own terms and around goal setting and that type of thing. And so um, there's lots of different services that we provide. Another one that we're just starting on is we're starting um, to try to introduce what we call Cafe Inks. And Cafe Inks will be a partnership with a business in a community that has a small cafe or coffee shop where women can come. There'll be equipment for them to use through Project Gazelle. They'll be able to access our programming. And so as much as possible, we're trying to make sure that we've got that outreach, especially in this time, so people can come together as a community virtually or in person as long as we socially distance um, and access the various services. Well, Glennis, I really appreciate your time and thank you so much for sharing with us all the great information that you have with Project Gazelle and all the opportunities that you can help for many business women in our community. So thank you. And thank you, Connor, for contacting us. Uh, we are always happy to talk about our project.